Greetings, fellow detectives, and welcome to Boiler Room Detective. The case of the failed five-year-old boiler. My contractor friend asked me to meet at a project where a five-year-old cast iron sectional boiler failed. The on-site person greeted us and led us to the boiler room. Inside, we saw a cast iron sectional boiler with six circulators. That's a lot of pumps, the contractor said. Each zone has its own thermostat that controls the pump, the contact said. So there are six zones, I asked, and he mentally counted them and said, yes, six zones. The contact continued. Whatever you do, we don't want another of these boilers. The boiler was a rugged boiler with a typical lifespan of 30 to 40 years. What caused it to start leaking after only five years? The hydronic loop had water treatment and a water meter on the makeup line. Checking the service reports, I saw the system only recently started losing water. Before that, it was a tight system with little water lost. The contact told us the building was only fully occupied a few weekends a month. When not occupied, the zone thermostats were set for 50 degrees Fahrenheit. The only space that was heated daily was his office zone, which used five days a week. When the contact left, the contractor asked, why do you think it failed? I shrugged my shoulders and said, not sure yet. I don't want my boiler to have the same fate as this one though. On paper, it seems like a great idea. Each zone would have its own circulator. Why heat the whole building when only one zone needed heat? The building was empty most days except for the small office, which was occupied daily. The office zone handled the office and the two restrooms. Churches often have the same problem as they only need full heat on days of worship. During the week, they have a much smaller heat load. Several questions and possible causes sprung to mind. Was it shocked by bringing back the cold water from the zones? where the flue gas is condensing. As I looked at the boiler, I saw no primary loop. The only flow through the boiler was one that was a call for heat in one of the zones. An idea came to mind. If only one zone was running, could there be insufficient flow through the boiler? Opening the boiler manual and scanning through the piping confirmed my guess. The manufacturer called for four inch pipes for the supply and return and each zone was only about an inch and a half. The boiler had a rated output of just over a million BTUs, which equates to about 100 GBM for a 20 degree rise. To estimate gallons per minute needed for a boiler, divide the boiler output by 10,000. This will give you the GPM required for a 20 degree rise through the boiler. The office and bathroom zone only required about 100,000 BTU, which would equal about 10 gallons per minute, or 10% of the boiler's flow requirements. I wish I could have test fired the boiler to verify my theory, but the owner refused because of the leak. A high delta T or temperature rise through a boiler would confirm my theory. Insufficient flow through a boiler can cause a wide delta T, thermal shock, and ruin the boiler. If you would like to contact me, my contact information is here. In addition, I have my two websites. The Brewing with Steam site has monthly blog posts on steam systems for breweries and distilleries. I have written 11 books on boilers and they are available on Amazon. In addition, you could find some of my writings in these fine publications. Thanks for stopping by Boiler Room Detective, and I hope to see you on the next case.